What's up guys, welcome to uh, another video. Today the video is based on the WeTech Play and extracting the channels through the Enigma 2 software that you run on the device onto your laptop or PC or Mac uh, in M3U format. So um, I'm not going to actually touch the WeTech Play so you won't see any of it on the video. This is all based on your PC you have. Um, so what we need to do is in the WeTech Play um, Enigma 2 settings and software, uh, you'll be able to find your IP address in there. Uh, make a note of it and go to your internet browser and type it in. So mine is 10.0.1.12. And then once you get into there, you will then see you basically have control of all your channels and along with other uh, bits and bobs that you can mess about with. So what you can do basically is that you can actually, so all channels, drop that down and then it will load all the channels on your device along with a little bit of the EPG side of things and you can actually select there and stream it directly onto your device. Um, and again, it goes for all channels as well. So even though these ones ain't showing here, um, for whatever reason, uh, you can still again just click that button and it will stream using your media player on your PC. You can have other other stuff on here. While I'm talking about this um, on the web on the website of things, um, power control. You can turn it on and off. Uh, you, you can grab screenshots. You can actually send a message to your WeTech as well, um, and timers and again remotes and all sorts of stuff. But I'm kind of concentrating on the M3 use side of um, things. So basically, once you uh, come onto here and you go back to the main screen where you have all the different sections, the little TVs here on the left, if you just leave it there, it will say download the playlist. So that will effectively download. If you click that, which I've already done, which is up here, you'll see that it's downloaded all the channels. So it's 50, uh, 45 kilobytes, so it's not, not huge. And again, you can then download it for separate uh, boutiques. So you just download the sports or the news or the documentaries. But I went ahead and downloaded all the channels, which took seconds. So even though you're, depending if you're just doing uh, free view channels or you have the whole Sky package, for example, um, it wouldn't take long to um, download. So if we just move up to one side, you can see there, guys, I've actually dragged it onto um, my desktop. So if I open this up, I'll just show you guys what it looks like. So let's open it up. So there you go. You can see it's already dumped it on uh, onto my desktop, and it's all pretty good. Just checking over, making sure it's roughly... Yeah, so they're all, they're all set up to play on a playlist. So, yeah. And again... Um, it's very easy, very easy to do. So as you can see this, we'll just close it down. So for example, on my um, Mac, I use VLC. So I'll bring up VLC. And what I've done is I just dragged and dropped the whole list directly onto my VLC player. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how it works. So you've got your channels. So oh, well, I was on Sky Sports 1 a minute ago. So let's play that. So you can see that it's playing perfectly well. And I must touch on as well is that my, v, my WeTech Play is actually on Discovery Channel. So I am playing on Alternative Channel on here. I don't quite know how that's worked. Uh, I have got both of my tuners in, so it's probably working that way. Uh, let's try another channel. So let's go up to the uh, main sort of free view channels. Or well, let's go down to Sky 1. And again, uh, it's working pretty fine. So this can be um, useful for a number of things, really. People ask me, I keep getting asked on Twitter, actually, about it, so I thought I'd do a video to show you guys how easy it was to do. Um, but this can be used in many ways. So, for example, I've got this all on my desktop. So if I was doing some work and I just wanted to hook up um, a channel while I was doing some work or something like that, I can just bring this up and play. As long as my device is on, so as long as the WeTech is on, and as long as the WeTech is on the same network, it will work. Um, or again, I can just plug this, um, so I can just download the M3U file and put it straight onto Kodi, for example, using the playlist loader. That will work as well, because obviously, on, as long as you're on the same network, 
And again, there's many other reasons and um, cool things you can do with the M3U files um, once you um, have them. So let's try and play another channel. All right, let's play showcase. And as you can see there, guys, it uh, is playing no problem. And um, note, no buffering or stuttering. So that is pretty cool also. So um, I hope this video has um, given you a bit of guys help if you're running a WeTech Play with Enigma 2 um, and some things you can do. Again, as I find them, I will share and I hope you guys do the same back so I can learn. Because obviously, I'm probably not, probably not learning as much as other people do out there. So... Um, hope you like this video and don't forget to hit the like button.